Good morning, good people. This is your pool proof wisdom moment. Another Friday is upon us. It's the weekend. Let's make the most of it, all right? Listen, today I want to recognize and celebrate the people who are out here doing the thing. You know, they're living their life despite the fact that life continues to throw hardballs their way. They are going forward even when people tell them that they cannot. They are, without a doubt, clearly aware of what life's assignment is and they have not misunderstood it at all because it's simply this. Make the most of it. That's it. Make the most of it. And no matter what happens, they find a way to circumvent the hardships, to ignore the naysayers, to avoid the tragedies by not learning from everything that happens in their life, whether it's the greatest thing or the worst thing, and letting that further diminish their opportunity to live a rich, full, and abundant life. They're doing it because they realize that Given a series of options, it's the only one that makes sense. You know, that's an interesting thing. Whenever we are going through something, we are often looking at a number of different circumstances and options that we think are going to give us the outcome that we hope for. But truth is, there's always only one, and it's the choice that's going to best benefit you. However that's going to come about, whatever that's going to mean, ultimately your choice is just that. It's your choice. You've got to make it. You've got to live with it. And no matter where it falls out, you've got to be comfortable with being accountable for the fact that it was all of those things. Your choice, your decision, your responsibility. But when you can celebrate the fact that there are people every day who get up and never complain about the fact that their life ain't no crystal stair, they don't ever blame anyone for their outcomes, but take responsibility for the fact that life is a series of choices and some work out and some don't. When you can celebrate these people, I want you to do it in a very, very tangible way. These are strong people. And the interesting thing about strong people is that they are often in place helping other people along the way as well. They understand the assignment, remember I said, and that assignment is to give service where it is necessary, even when we are going through it ourselves. And they do. They fight for others, they love on others, they treat others well, and they stand up where everybody else is sitting flat on their ass and not doing anything but complaining about circumstances. So why not celebrate those who are doing the thing? who are making the difference, who are representing what it means to be truly human by acknowledging that they teach us every day what courage looks like. I've been thinking lately about the Supreme Court justice nomination process and the whole series of media coverage of it and watch that woman sit in that seat and understand what patience, understanding, and appreciation look like, what courage look like. Because no matter what happened, whatever else was going on inside, whatever her thoughts, whatever her considerations, she never let anyone see her sweat. And that's what the courageous among us do. That's what the people who may be going through it all on their own are doing every day. And I want you to remind yourself, for the people in your life who are living that life, they're the strong person you turn to. They're the one you rely on to give it to you straight when no one else was. These are people I want you to, on occasion, check in on. Because even though they're strong, they still are human. I'll say that again because I don't know what I just freaking said. Even though they are strong, they're still human. They still need to understand and appreciate that there are people who are concerned about their well-being, what's happening in their lives, how they're simply doing from day to day. Let's celebrate them. Let's continue to learn from them. And let's continue to give them every avenue possible to help us help ourselves, but not once failing to acknowledge that on occasion, though it may not be every day, they need us to acknowledge that they can use a little bit of help too. So if you're gonna have a crush today, a human crush, Let's have it for the strong people, the courageous people, 
the outspoken people, the people who will fight a brick for you and you won't fight it for yourself. And let's celebrate them with abandon, with great joy, and of course, with a lot of inspiration for the aspirational characteristics they represent. And that is your foolproof wisdom for today, Friday, the beginning of another weekend. You can find my books available online with booksellers everywhere in audio form on Audible. And of course, look for the podcast, Poolproof Wisdom, available on podcast platforms everywhere. And of course, this segment, Poolproof Wisdom, a moment. Poolproof Wisdom Moments, available on my YouTube channel, Charles K. Pool. Have a great weekend, everybody.